the Justice Depart the Department sought Mr. Krongard's cooperation as it investigated reports that a large private security contractor was smuggling weapons into Iraq. Instead of cooperating, Mr. Krongard apparently created a series of obstacles to the inquiry. One of Mr. Krongard's aides told our committee that, quote, there was absolutely no justifiable investigative management or any kind of reason for us to stop that investigation. The Justice Department shares that view and told the committee, at this juncture, we cannot determine all of the ramifications of the IG's conduct, but some of his actions have certainly impacted the investigation. For reasons that remain unclear, the line IG agents have been forced to funnel requests within their own agency through a congressional and public relations official. This is not the usual practice. The Inspector General also issued a statement without advanced coordination with department attorneys confirming the existence of this investigation, which is inconsistent with our law enforcement interests. That was from the, uh, what the Justice Department told our committee. Well, the Justice Department has advised us that Mr. Krongard's action resulted in a cumbersome and time-consuming investigative process and added multiple layers to our investigative efforts. As of this last Friday, the Justice Department still has not received the State Department materials it has requested. As Mr. Krongard revealed through some ill-advised comments, the company implicated in the weapons smuggling is Blackwater. We have now learned that Mr. Krongard's brother, Buzzy Krongard, serves on Blackwater's advisory board. We have also learned that Mr. Krongard concealed this apparent conflict of interest from his own deputy, even as he remained actively involved in monitoring the Justice Department's criminal investigation. I, I, I do, I would make a comment if I could, because one thing just came up that um, really does bother me, and that was an allegation concerning my brother. Um, I can tell you very frankly, I am not aware of any financial interest or position he has with respect to Blackwater. Uh, I, it, it, it couldn't possibly have affected anything I've done because I don't believe it. And when these ugly rumors started recently, I specifically asked him. I do not believe it is true that he is a member of the advisory board that you stated. And that's, that's something I think I need to say.